Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and as you can see behind me, we're going to be setting this bad boy up. Hopefully you guys are ready. Alright guys, so welcome back. We have lots to talk about today and lots to get done. Um, first of all, let's talk a little bit about AgroCraft. Um, so, I have been hard at work making these seeds. And I just want to say that these are awesome. These 10x10s are totally worth doing. and It doesn't take very long. Um, I must say. So some key things you're going to need. A watering can, for sure. And uh, to make the watering can, well, it's actually got water in it. Let's actually get the one that doesn't have water in it. Um, this guy right here, the empty watering can. Um, as you can see, it requires some electrical steel and a resonant portal tank, which all of that is should be pretty easy to get, uh, get by now if you have it automated. Um, but when I do one of these now, um, that one gave me three... No, give me four. Um, every single one of these that are 10 by 10 give me four coal essence per drop now. Um, and as you can see, I have tons of coal essence. Um, these are all the seeds that I gathered. Uh, they are uh, agricraft seeds. I don't think you can plant them on their own. No. Uh, you have to have them inside the crop sticks. But still, that's not that big a deal. There is a Ender I.O. Thing, uh, thing in this pack that lets you automate these crops. Um, so having the agrocraft crops is just the same as making multiple seeds. Um, so this is just the, this is similar to four seeds or four individual seeds in one crop because it gives you four essence, and they grow incredibly fast. I mean, I can harvest this entire thing, which gives me over a stack and a half um, of just this little area right here. It's way overkill. Um, I know eventually I'm going to need a lot of coal, but I mean this is a lot. I decided to stop here. Because, like I said, it gives me um, about a stack and a half every time I harvest. And it grows back so fast. If I just start using this on it, and which this also um, is a part of AgriCraft, um, it's just a, you make these, you need to have a wooden uh, water tank hooked up to um, some kind of water source. It doesn't have to be an inner tank. I'm using inner tank right now, hooked up my Oculus accumulator. And then you just place this on the bottom and inside of a certain area, I don't know the exact radius of this, um, but this is really simple to make. Um, it's going to cause it to grow a little bit faster. And then of course, doing this makes it grow faster as well. And these are, are automatically fast. Like these are automatically growing like right now. But I'm gonna go over how to get started with this. So what you do is um, you're gonna need your crop sticks. And uh, I can use this one as an example because um, I think this is the or original seed I think so I'm gonna break it take this see this only drops one so this is unidentified it is the original seed but it is still it's, it, as soon as I turn it into an agrocraft seed it's an agrocraft seed so I'm gonna place it here and to get started you're gonna make sure this is fully grown and to do that use your watering can it shouldn't take that long it does go a lot faster um, the sooner, like the, the later on in the, uh, steps you go, like these are all 10 by 10s. Once you start getting into like four and five, they grow, start growing really fast when the growth rate is at that percentage. Um, you're also going to need a seed analyzer, by the way. Um, but you're going to need all that. And, uh, this is the crazy part. I have not had any weeds. I know weeds are a part of this pack, but I haven't had any weeds grow. I don't know what is the deal with that but yeah it's not happening so within here I can have uh, mutations happen so I can put two crop sticks and two crop sticks use my watering can and I have a chance of it spreading to the next crop as you can see there are two right here now these are gonna be two mutations of the crop so each one of these are gonna be different they do show they're the same right here but they're, they're the same because they come from the same plant. There's really not much for it to do. Um, so it's another growth one, growth one, growth one. So that's how you duplicate your seeds. Um, then you can place another one here and another one here. I was, I was doing three like this, and then in the center is where my mutations were happening. Um, and I was getting the best results out of the middle uh, mutation. But I had three touching. So it's got three chances of changing the mutation, which you have three separate slot so I figured that, that would be the best way to go um, but yeah you just want to make sure these are fully grown 
Um, as you can see, we got two over there that are fully grown. Those are those are also mutations, um, and they're actually better. You can see this is a grow three, growth two, and a grow three, grow three, uh, grow three, gain three, and strength three. So pretty nice. Um, the strength later on, like once you have ten by tens, it's it's all going to be the same. But your gain is going to give you more for what you originally got. Um, then the growth is going to grow faster, and then the strength allows you to duplicate them later on. But to me, duplicating doesn't, I mean, I don't know exactly what it's talking about when it says duplicating, because you can duplicate right here. Um, I just duplicated the original seed, and technically it's the same thing, so it all, it all duplicates. So um, that's why you see tons of coal seeds, because they're all being duplicated, because it's just causing, they're just growing. Um, but yeah, I haven't encountered any weeds. If you do encounter any weeds, you want to you wanna use a rake. And that rake's going to help you out. But like I said, here's here we go, setting up a mutation. You're going to make sure these are fully grown. Set up your mutation. Get it starting, uh, get it happening. And bam, we have a new crop seed. Now this one should be different. This should not be a one by one. It is, as you can see, changed. And you're going to want to make a couple of these. And uh, keep doing them. Oh, you don't want to do that. You want to make sure it's doubled there um, and then use your watering can on them and it happens really fast with your watering can so fast um, it's crazy it pretty much takes all the hassle on look these are already ready to go grown up again um, and then this one is actually better than this one so you kind of want to set them away from each other kind of figure out which one's the best you can delete these later like I'm gonna delete all of these get rid of them um, Except for, well, yeah, I don't have any 10 by 10s I've just been duplicating these 10 by 10s by placing double crop sticks here. And when I do this, and I water it, that has now become a 10 by 10 by 10. And we can see that by putting it in the analyzer. And you'll see that is a 10 by 10 by 10. So I just pretty much duplicated a 10 by 10 by 10, and it's ready to go. And now I have another 10 by 10 in this crop. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nice. There's also an AgriCraft um, farming station right here. So an uh, an AgriCraft farming station um, is just about. It's really similar to the farming station, except for that you're gonna need these farming base modules, which require um, conductive iron and electrical steel, and your crops sticks, of course. And that's the only thing that's different with this guy. Pretty easy to make. Um, I'm gonna end up making it eventually. And it's going to be automating, uh, clicking all this. And I'm going to have that over there probably still running. Um, but we're going to have another one over here in this little area automating our crops. And of course, these will not all stay the coal. I'll use the coal until we don't need it anymore. But I'm right now working on making glowstone. That way I don't have to go to the nether to get glowstone. That'll make my life a lot easier. But uh, with that in our mind and that done, um, let me go ahead and store these away for now. Um, I went ahead and figured I was going to try and see if this would work. Um, I was having a problem putting the, the water bottles in here. The water bottles are a pain. Um, I was just doing them manually. So I decided to put them in here and it actually works and I was surprised. Um, it fills up both slots. So making regular glass bottles and filling them up with water, of course many as we can fill up anyways. Oops. I'm starting to spit them out. Um, and throwing them in this chest. Uh, it automatically sucks them out and puts them in the right slots. Um, so that's perfect because we use a lot of these. Um, the only other one that needs to be fully automated um, because everything else I can just put the... Um, the only thing they're needing is the catalyst is this one. I just need it to automatically pull out the buckets and I think I can I should be able to do that to have it pulled out and uh, refilled um, that I should be able to do but that's, I'm not too concerned about that one yet because we have we haven't used a lot of this but uh, the main goal of today's video <laughs> which I've kind of been beating around the bush um, for now but we're gonna jump into it and that is Batania uh, mainly to get this automated uh, we need dusk runes, and they're actually called, let's go to runes, 
uh, we're going to need the Rune of Pride. Um, and this requires Summer Runes, which those are the hardest to make. And I've already got all this stuff prepped up and ready to go. It did require a lot of preparation. I think 30 minutes of prep uh, to get this one rune ready. Um, we also need blocks of Mana Diamond, which I don't have yet. That needs 18 diamonds. Um, but as you can see, it requires all of this stuff. Um, including these inscriptions, which you remember I've made before. They feel a lot easier to make now. Simply because we kind of have all of the main stuff that we're gonna that we need already set up. These are like the main the main um what are they called? Alchemy powders. <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Um alchemy ingredients. So those guys are all set up and ready to go. The only thing that we need to do is get ourselves, like I said, diamonds. And we're gonna need was it 19 I said? Or 18? 18. Because we need blocks. 18 diamonds. I still haven't gotten used to there being <laughs> an enemy crafting table over here. Um, but these mana pools are all full. These guys are completely full. Every single one of them. Um, I've been putting coal inside these and it's been keeping everything full. Um, I just have to turn them off every now and then uh, to check them out because they're not fully automated yet. We will set that up eventually, but right now um, this semi-automation works just fine. Um, it does. It is kind of uh, iffy because it does spit this everywhere, and I want it to go on this specific block right here. Um, but it doesn't always land there. It usually goes all over the place, and I have to kind of get it to go there. Um, but I think we're all set up. We have two mana spreaders now. That should make this go faster. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get our diamonds. I'll do this in the back one. There's that. We're going to have some mana bursts. Filling all that up. There's our two blocks. And bam, that is pretty much it for our last section. Everything's already done right here, as you can see. Um, this is actually used for that rune. It's used for the last section. So, a uh, whole bunch of stuff that we're going to have to set up now. Um, but I think we're good. So right here is going to be our first, our first rune. And I need all of this. I need my inventory cleared out. There we go. The only thing I want is a wand. And I'm going to need living rock. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six living rock. Because we're going to do six crafts at it right now. And... We can get all of this stuff put in here. And this right here is a wheat bag. Um, pretty easy to make. Block of coal, frozen stone, double compressed dirt. And I think that is it. Oh, we need the soup. There we go. So as you can see, it's already starting to work and it's going a lot faster than I was expecting. So. That is nice. I want to make sure this is nice and cleared off as well. So yeah, this is going really fast now because we have two of those mana spreaders pointed at it. Awesome. And now we can throw our living rock on there and right click and we get two runes of earth. We're going to use all of these runes, by the way. So two runes of earth. Each one goes on this section right here. Then we're going to need all of this. So let's start putting all of this in here. By the way, this concentrated cloud seed bucket, um, you need to make concentrated cloud seed. And what you can do, I just cleared out what was already in here, which was the hooch and stuff. Um, you need clay blocks is the best for this, and ice is the best for this side. So use clay blocks and ice. And then over here, uh, the best is actually clay blocks, but I just use clay because, oh well. Um, and it's going to give you seed. I only actually used eight clay blocks and uh, it actually, or nine clay blocks, and it filled it up. And um, yeah, it, I took a bucket out of here, and we're good to go um, to make this. So not too hard. All these, all these things are not that bad, actually, um, as long as you've got most of the ingredients. Sweet. And this is a bag of cotton seed. And this should be all pulling out. And I think that our mana pools should hold up pretty good. It doesn't even look like they're budging. The back one was budging from the mana diamonds, but other than that, looking good. Already done. 
Uh oh. Oh, it's just waiting for us. So, we'll put that on there. Bam! There's our two runes of air. And each one of these needs a rune of air. And now this will be our two runes of fire. So let's go ahead and get all of this on there. Um, this right here is the netherite block. And of course, this is the alchemy ingredients. And you also need the inscription tools. So you're going to need some inscription tools for this. So if you didn't like making them the first time, they should be easier to make this time around. And by the way, these are not using very much mana, actually. As you can see, very little. I think it's pulling out of this pool. Um, but the last craft on that rune, that one does require a bit of mana. Sweet. Already done, man. These are going fast. There we go. And there's our two of fire. And these will actually go over here. And then these are going to be your separate ones. Okay, so hot spike blocks. Pretty weird to make. Um, they're actually iron spikes, and iron spikes are not that that, that fun to make. Um, just a lot of crafting in this recipe. And pyrothium, and then the netherite. So you're going to have some netherite. If you have to go to the nether, sorry. And then this has to be actual smooth stone. So you need um, your actual sandstone, and you need four sandstone to make that. So, And then burnt quartz, you just burn blocks of quartz and all that stuff. Basalt, you need to find a basalt area. So if we take a look at my map, I actually went over here, I was looking for uh, vines to gather up. So I got vines from there, but right here is kind of what you're going to look for. This right here, as you see, I took the chunk of basalt from right here. You want to take the basalt and you want to uh, actually cook it, because you're going to get basalt, basalt cobblestone or whatever. Um, it's just a volcano, so you're going to look for a volcano structure, and uh, you should be good to go. All right. So I should have everything here. And you need a slime block. Did I get a rune of... Oh yeah, we do need a rune of air. And we also need a rune of earth for this. And we need these sunglasses. And if you remember, the sunglasses. Oh yeah. Deal with it. Yeah, the deal with the glasses, we're going to need those. Um, and they're not too hard to make. You need black uh, panes. And that's it. So, we should have all that stuff. Bam! And now it is making... I think the Rune of a... The Rune of Summer? Yep. The Rune of Summer. So a lot of ingredients for this one. This one's going to use a bit more mana. And I think it's draining... I don't know where it's draining from. It seems like... They're staying relatively full. This one's draining a little bit. But to make these runes, they're... Not using too much. Need to get our block. It's done. Bam. What do we get? Rune of air. It gave us a rune of air back? That's strange. Okay. I'm not going to complain. It does look like it gave us our rune of air back, though. So the same recipe here. And we're going to get some more. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's using that much. I don't know. I don't know. Unless it's draining. I wouldn't think it's draining from that back mana pool. These guys are completely full. This one's the one. Oh, this is the one it's draining from. The front pool. Perfectly fine with me. We've almost got this thing. I don't know. This is satisfying for me. Um, to do this and watching this. The animations are so good. Uh oh. That was meant to go on there. Yeah, we got. Oh, we got all of our. What? We get our rune and. We get our earth runes and. and we get these runes back? Sweet. I wasn't expecting to get the runes back. But now we have these. And we get our runes back, which I'm happy with. And this one takes a little bit of crafting. And it's probably going to take a little bit longer. This one requires a bit more mana. As you can see, it requires a quarter of a mana pool. 
So now we should definitely see a hit in some, at least one of these mana pools. This one? I don't know. It's got to take a hit somewhere. Doesn't look like it is, though. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, crazy. Yeah, because it's, it's, it should already have over a quarter of a mana pool being used. Nothing looks like it's changing. Besides this one. And it's only draining a little bit. Oh well, maybe that's not correct. Who knows? Who knows? Man, I can't wait to get this Dusk Rune. Because once we get the Dusk Rune, that is going to allow us to make the inscription tool for dusk. And that's going to let us do all of the other rituals. So, pretty excited for that. Like the Well of Suffering. We'll be able to set up a Well of Suffering. Bam! We do get them back. We get the Summer and the Runes of Fire back. What? I didn't know that's how it worked. All right, so let's make this 12,000 LP. That's, oh, and it, we have a tier four altar. So I think we should be good to go. We should be able to make this into what we need it to be turned into, correct? We just need a little bit of LP. Let's t actually take that out. That's just draining our LP. 13, we need 1,400. Eh, I'm sure something will fall, yeah. That should be it. If anything, some more stuff will fall. Um, but yeah, this thing will put the Well of Suffering right here and pretty much have unlimited LP in here. We just won't have to worry about it. Um, I think... I, I think the, what the deal is... We can have the Well of Suffering, so... The Well of Suffering will basically keep our LP constantly full um, in our soul network. Because I'll just leave this guy in here, and as long as that's in here, we should be good. So here's our Dusk rune. Sweet! And I think we have everything needed to be able to set this up. I just, I want to, I'll have to move this stuff because that's going to be in the way. I think this will work. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to try and set this stuff up and see what we can do. All right. So after setting this all up, um, I had to make uh, the dies because for some reason it wasn't automatically like my uh, tool wasn't automatically working. Um, but it did show me kind of the outline to go off of. Um, but this is the setup that I sh it shows on the wiki. So I'm going to assume that this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, I followed the guide on the wiki and I do need uh, to make sure I have... 50, 000, at least 50,000 LP in storage, which I do, so that's good there. And then we should be able to click the weak activation on here. Ow, ow, ow. Can you not? Look at my MLG skills. I, I miss. Get, get out of here. It is nighttime. I just, I have my night vision on. I guess he disappeared on us. Hopefully, there he is. Little feller. Man, he's fast. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate this. Alright, it says it flows through him. And this should be filling up with LP now. Slowly but surely. It's hurting them and filling it up. Not very fast. What we need is a witch in there, and I'm sure a witch will eventually fall in there. And supposedly, the witch is fast enough that uh, it should do its job. But look at that animation. I like that animation. Yeah, it should be, should be taking care of them. They fall in there at a pretty decent rate. I just don't want them dying. That's why they also recommend the uh, regeneration as well. 
but our LP is going up in our soul network, and that's really what I want. I want this to be like a constant refill on our soul network, and we couldn't do that had we not got those runes done today. So pretty sweet there. Um, and this should continue running. Um, I, I looked, and it, and it says uh, each point of damage costs 2 LP. So every time it damages an entity, it's costing me 2 LP for my soul network. But it's also regenerating it at such a high high speed. Um, so like right now, since it's not working, it's not using LP. So it only uses LP when it damages. But as soon as it starts to damage, um, I'm gaining. Yeah, I'm getting a net gain. And like I said, as soon as I get a witch to spawn in there, which I think they do, um, I'll be golden. Because a witch will keep regenerating themselves. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, I had to move my chest. This was kind of a pain. Um, I might just use item kind of, which took a little while. But it, it worked. I don't think it's dropping items. Oh, it is dropping items. So what I probably need to do is set up the hopper again. Set up the item hopper. And put the item hopper back here, because this will just basically be a mob farm. And we can set the item hopper, like, right here. And I can get another chest. I don't know if this drops experience, though. I really don't. Uh, we can do another obsidian chest. Why not? It's not like they're hard to move at all. So, it should be fine going right here. We'll put the hopper right next to it. Uh, I had the hopper on me. I, put it, I think I put it in my bag. No? Might have put it back in here. I don't know. My hopper disappeared on me. Oh, there it is. I thought I put it in here. So we'll hook the hopper back up. We can break this bottom block. That should not affect anything. Hopefully nothing scary runs out. And we'll make sure to set this to what it was. Just like that, and it'll go into the chest. Like I said, I don't know if there is experience. No, there's no experience dropping. That's good. That's good. I don't want experience dropping. But I do want the items going in here. That'll help out a lot. Sweet. Our LP network is... We're almost at 30,000 LP. We've only been sitting here for a little bit. Sweet. <laughs> so that's going to make our life easier. Um, now, there is also automation that you can automate this, but you need a blood altar to automate it. Um, you basically set the item that you want to craft in the blood altar and make sure you give it in items. But I find that, I don't know, this is going to be a lot easier, I think, in the long run. Um, maybe there's certain ones that we could set to automate, but like these... Um, I'm using these to automate, so anytime I just need a certain thing, like this is the only one I need to finally fully set up. The other stuff, I mean, it's pretty self-sufficient. I just have to kill Cyclopses, which I do have a powered spawner, I just haven't set it up yet. Um, but other than that, man, we have pushed pretty good for this episode. I think we've done a lot. We've got a lot of work done. I need to get my thing back so it's centered. Um... Yeah, we've done a lot today. I feel like. Going over this. Um, I'm going to be doing some more Agricraft stuff, getting more of these 10 to 10s. Um, I also need to make a few more different seeds, like some redstone and things like that. Even though I'm gathering a lot of redstone, it still never hurts to have access to more stuff. So as I can see, tons of redstone, tons of coal. Like I'm gathering so many items from these quarries. And my quarry is doing such a good job. And it's only because I'm limiting my power. Um, I'm going to be working on a big reactor soon, um, as well. But as you can see, it says, uh, craft a farming station, harvest your agri-crafts automatically. I haven't done that yet. We do have a growth pulsar that we did get in a quest. Um, also, we also have a bunch of quests to unlock. And you know what? I should probably, before we accept all these quests, clear out my inventory. Because it's going to be a pain if we don't. 
So let's do that. There we go. Alright, and let's see what all we've gotten. Because a lot of this comes from this, which is all the runes and stuff that we made. So we got this guy, Greater Catalyst. Okay, a filling agent. I don't know what all these things do yet. Ooh, we got some diamond for that. Ooh, we're getting a bunch of diamonds for this. Sweet. A mana detector. Awesome. And a mana, a mana flux field. Can't beat that. That's probably stuff that uh, is a pain to craft. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, we have a lot uh, to go here. Like, we have to... Um, still make mana pylons, we have to uh, make terra steel with a uh, this plane, and this plane requires a bunch of runes, um, which I guess half of them we have. We have the earth rune, we have the air rune, we have the fire rune, we just don't have the rune of mana, and we don't have the rune of water. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. So we have quite a few things done already. And like I said, this setup is going to... Oh, it's also killing the spiders. No longer will I have to fight with those terrible spiders. Um, by the way, if this guy is not in there, we have 40 right now. It should easily start filling up our, our pool here. So just over time, it'll just slowly kill everything. I'm wondering, is there a witch in there yet? No. But we could set a spawner up there, use a power spawner instead of this. And we could use power to spawn instead of what this is doing, and we could gather a lot more mobs. And that would work out a lot better probably as well. So yeah, it just slowly builds up. I don't know if it's faster than what we were doing. But if we had some more mobs, it definitely would be. That almost looks like a witch in there. Can't tell though. Is it? Yep, there is a witch in there. I wonder if she will stay in there or if it'll kill her. Because from what I've been told is she will constantly heal herself. And she will never die. It looks like she is healing herself. So good, that'll be constant. Having a witch in there is going to be one of the best things we could have. And the more of those we get, the better off we'll be. So, awesome. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.